Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, just want to give you a quick update on the RO unit um, from Aqualife, the RO Buddy. So this is their um, auto shutoff float valve, right, that I hooked up. And I was a little concerned if it was going to work because I didn't want a flooded uh, laundry room slash basement. So I did it on a on days when I was off from work so I can monitor it. But this is a 55 gallon uh, water barrel um, that I purchased from Baytech. And I believe I put the link on the previous video, but I, uh, I will put the link on the bottom of this video as well. Um, I also put it on a dolly just in case anybody you know, wondered how heavy this sucker is, it's going to be heavy. So I needed to move it around sometimes. So I put in a dolly, so I thought ahead. Um, I purchased that on Amazon, and I'll also post a link um, on the bottom of this video. But it looks like I created, um, you know, I would say, a little over 50 gallons. So one of the things that... Um, I was thinking about was how often I was going to need to change the the cartridges, right? So this is a four stage, right? So I have a carbon cartridge, a sediment cartridge, the actual membrane, RO membrane, and the the D the DI cartridge. So it looks like looking at this, when the cartridge, when the DI cartridge starts to turn that amber, it's it's actually almost you know um, exhausted or close to being exhausted. The only difference is that it has to it has to be like that for the entire cartridge. So the bottom part is still black, right? So I went on their website to find out um, when when's the time to change this, and they recommend not thinking about it as time, but thinking about how much water gets pumped through it. So it's fifty. I have a fifty-gallon drum, right? So you have to think about it as um, it creates one part of clean water to three parts of um, wastewater. So you need whatever you're creating. So I created about 50 gallons. I multiply that by three and that's the entire volume of water that went through this um, RO unit, right? So that amount of water, right, is how much went through. And this, they recommend um, 1,500 or 1,500 gallons of water through it before you need to change the carbon cartridge and the sediment cartridge. So I'm guessing for me, I'm probably gonna get a month and a half or six uses out of this before I need to change the carbon and the sediment cartridge. Um, the DIY, DI cartridge, um, Looks like I probably need to change it as well when that time comes, and I can I'll probably do a small video on changing it. Um, the membrane I don't think you have to change it yet, right? I think that's like they're supposed to be good for two years, but I'll need to look into that, and I'll update you um, when I change the cartridges and when I make a video for it. Um, but I just wanted to let you know um, what it did. So and the time span you'll you can get out of changing these cartridges also this held up pretty well i got a small drip from down here but it's uh it was such a slow drip that it barely registered on that as i said i created about 50 gallons of water i haven't used it yet um i also tested the tds on it and it was absolutely zero um in case you're wondering, my tap water is about 168 to 173. So 
it's not too bad. And um, I'm actually considering trying to not use so much of this RO water for my Cardinia, for my Neocardinias, right? And only use it for my Cardinia shrimps. So, because I don't want to be creating this so so much so that I have to keep spending money to buy more cartridges, but I don't know. If I have to, I have to. I'm not going to complain about that. Um, I think one of the other things that I wanted to mention was um, I wanted to, I'm probably going to circulate the water in here um, with this Marine Wind Powerhead. And it's just so that it doesn't get stale, oxygenates it, you know, by moving the water from top to bottom, you know, it'll be good. I'm also going to put a lid, of course, on it. So things like that I'll, I'll probably be doing. Um, like I said, I'll probably do a video when I change the, the, the cartridges um, and show you guys how easy it is to do. It's, it's actually fairly easy, I think, but I'll know when I start doing it. It'll be my first time. Um, okay. And if you like my videos, right, please subscribe, hit that notification button, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.